I've tried to stress the importance of painting sets in Himalayan art. Uh, sculpture, it, it's not as complicated once you understand paintings, then, then sculpture is easy. But painting sets uh, really account for, for half or more of all paintings that we find. And um, these, these different sets are really divided into uh, uh, five different groupings. And um, I've had them organized in different ways, but you know there was no real necessarily a rhyme or reason to to how I did it before. But um, I've changed it up a bit, and I've listed them a little bit differently. And so now I've list I list them as uh, the five main subjects of painting sets are uh, number sets, life story, lineage, and lineage means teaching lineage as well as it can be incarnation lineage. Uh, then tantric cycles, and the, th the fifth one is uh, compendium, or compendia. So for the first, numbers are very important in, um, in Indian culture. They're important in different branches of Hinduism, Buddhism, Bon religion, um, especially in philosophy and in understanding uh, sutras and understanding Abhidharma and the different... Um, characteristics that make up the the human condition and the mind uh, but they they numbers are also very important when it comes to art and when it comes to iconography when it comes to to uh, um, trying to to divide up important topics and basically it's a sequence sequencing and a hierarchy it is really the essence of uh, of numbering so if we look at um, sets of paintings based on on the very very extensive uh, uh, number sets list that we have in Himalayan art. The only one I'm really aware of is the one on Himalayan art resources that we came up with years ago. God, it has to be nearly 20 years ago. It was with uh, Ben Brinkley and uh, Gene Smith of uh, uh, TBRC fame now BDRC. So. Uh, there, there's a long list of number sets that relate to art, but we also have a short list of what are the most common. And the most common uh, that we find, and the most well-known of number sets, are the Buddhas of the Three Times, the Three Lords of the World, uh, the Four Guardian Kings, uh, Buddhas of the Five Directions, otherwise the five um, symbolic Buddhas that relate to a mandala. Uh, six ornaments and two excellent ones, uh, Tara and the Eight Fears, Eight Medicine Buddha Brothers, Eight Great Bodhisattvas. So you get the idea. These, these are the most common. And then there's like another six, seven, eight that are, are quite well known. So when it comes to painting sets, yes, you can put the Buddhas of the Three Times into a single composition. That's quite common. Uh, but we also find... Uh, uh, each of the Buddhas is within their own painted composition, and it becomes a three-painting set with Dipamkara, Shakyamuni, and Maitreya. Then with the three lords of the world, we can have uh, Manjushri, Avalokiteshvara, and Vajrapani, each appearing in their own co separate composition. Um, now, the four guardian kings is a little different. Four guardian kings, yes, we can have them each in their own composition, but generally... As, as a scroll work painting, they generally don't exist outside of the 16 great elders, along with Shakyamuni Buddha, his two main disciples, and the patron and the, the uh, uh, attendant, Hwasheng and Dharmatala. So then, then it becomes actually a 23 painting set with four of those compositions are each of the four guardian kings. Now the reason it's not... Uh, uh, a 25 painting set is because Modgalyayana and Shariputra, the two main disciples of the Buddha, more important than the 16 great elders, uh, the two main disciples, um, actually I should say Shariputra and Modgalyayana, Shariputra is, is a senior, um, they are, uh, the two main disciples are always painted next, standing next to Shakyamuni Buddha. Um, so that's why it's a 23 painting set, not 25. Um, the five direction Buddhas, uh, five symbolic Buddhas, or the five tantric Buddhas, uh, these are very often painted as a set of five, uh, and then they can have many, many uh, secondary figures around them, depending on what 
tantric cycle uh, that they are uh, being drawn from. Then we have the six ornaments and two excellent ones. Now this is a very important grouping of the most important uh, Indian uh, Mahayana teachers. Um, and of course, the most famous are, are Nagarjuna and Asanga, uh, Dharmakirti, Dignaga, etc. Um, and so the six ornaments and two excellent ones will each be painted a, in a separate composition. And generally, you would have um, Shakyamuni Buddha or Amitabha Buddha as a, a central painting, because remember, uh, most of Buddhist sets are odd numbered, and they're odd numbered so you can have a central painting and then have an equal number of compositions on either side of the central uh, uh, painting. Uh, the Eight Medicine Buddha Brothers are often painted as individual compositions, and then a, 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 a ninth painting is often added, which is Prajnaparamita, and this allows for a nine painting set where you have a central image of Medicine Buddha and then four compositions on either side of the central. So this is, just gives you an idea of how it works with these, with these painting sets, but these are simple painting sets where we're looking at one main figure per composition. For very, for very large uh, number sets, what we end up doing is we end up um, putting uh, uh, two, three, five uh, uh, figures per composition, and then when we're dealing with things such as the 25 disciples of Padmasambhava, the 35 confession Buddhas, or the 84 Mahasiddhas, it, it, it gets very expensive if you if you're doing a, a set of uh, if you if you're commissioning a set of paintings for the 35 confession Buddhas and you want a separate composition for each Buddha, that means that's 35 different paintings. So that that requires a lot of artists and a lot of money, and the same for the 84 Mahasiddhas. Uh, now these are just the the more common, the more well known of of the number sets. Um, we'll leave it there. You can. Uh, you can uh, press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join HAR on Patreon for longer videos, and you can also uh, go directly to the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources and make a donation and help uh, to contribute and keep the work we're doing on track.